Byron 12th on the board. Oh, that's Kaz Grala. Well, I've been that guy too, Clint. I, I have had my hood blow up, and, and you just look out the little cow flap on the left. He's he's driving it with the spotter. It, uh, it, it honestly doesn't look like it's tore anything up, but I'm going to say the bracing. You know what I love about that is look how busy the air ducts are underneath the car. This is the first time we have been able to really show underneath the hood of the car. You see the air louvers that escape the air from the front. You see how the air feeds to that cow or, or to the uh, the air cleaner, no longer from that cow that it always was. A lot happens underneath that car aero wise as well underneath the hood. And, and I like the fact that they gave each manufacturer some identity in that area. If you look at a Ford, it's different than a Toyota or a Chevrolet. And so they have their own little identity there and it, uh, it I think that's nice that they can separate the, the makes that way you know guys looking at this just think back to when we had steel roofs and steel hoods yeah. they would be sitting there looking at that car going are we gonna have to unload a backup car there's absolutely no damage whatsoever to the roof the hood nothing about that race car he just had left pit road you can see him on the apron right there that's a great point Larry now all four